the seafood industry is still thriving as one of the premier industries on the island of South Caicos and as one of the major revenue generators for the islands of the Turks and Caicos. Seafood has been synonymous with the Big South for decades, hence the island being dubbed the fishing capital. The two processing plants on the island produces three delicacies, fish, conch and lobster in high demand for local and international export. Founder of Caicos Pride, Jim Baker, in an exclusive interview with News 4, outlined their 2010 outlook. This year, 2010, has been very challenging. We've um, had a very um, um, slow season. Um, I think it has probably been one of the toughest seasons that I've been a part of in the last 20 years. Um, but hoping that it will get better. Baker believes that part of the reason why business for his company has been so challenging is due to increased poaching, which has strongly affected the industry. Baker also said that more recently, the poachers are venturing closer to the island, and this poses a problem for the South Caicos plants. Well, I firmly believe that the illegal poaching that is going on here is, is taking a very, very negative effect on the industry. Um, there have been two boats caught recently in the Turks and Caicos Islands approaching. And we're finding them that they're coming in closer. The, the first one that was caught about a month, month and a half ago, I'm told was caught in the Amagris Key area, which is very, very close. And this boat, from what I understand, had not been out there very long. But for the amount of product that that boat had on it, that product, that amount of product was more than our plant produced in any one month. He also added that the problem also falls back on the marine policing in South Caicos waters and feels that not enough is being done to protect the local plants. Um, the policing is mostly done on the local fishermen and the plants. Uh, example is we don't even have a patrol boat in South Caicos, but the approachers, they are out there and they're doing what they want to and they're literally having factories on the sea. And whenever they move through the areas, they're taking everything. They're taking the lobster, they're taking the conch, they're taking the fish, and they're just really disturbing the whole ecosystem there. In 2008, Hurricane Ike not only affected the island greatly, but also the underwater activity there, which fishermen have now discovered may have caused the seafood locations to ship, Baker explains. As you know, Hurricane Ike was a Category 5 hurricane. And uh, it did a lot of damage here on the land in South Caicos. And as a fisherman report, the damage was equally, was equal or worse, you know, under the sea, under the water, where it changed the whole landscape. And they're saying that they're finding conch in areas where there were not conch, and where the conch used to be, there are not conch there. And it's the same for the lobster. So it looks as if they're having to to search again to find the areas that the fish, the conch, and the lobster are really living in since uh, Hurricane Ike. Nonetheless, Caicos Pride is still thriving as a major competitor in the seafood industry, producing impressive amounts of seafood for international export on a monthly basis. As the model states, the conch is the queen of the plant operations and is the number one seller in the industry. For WIV4 News, I'm Tian Thomas.